What's up, family? <laughs> All right. We have a judge in California who has ruled that California prison officials must provide for free undergarments that flatten the chest of transgender inmates at women's prisons and give transgender inmates at men's prisons access to hair brushes, what is it, bracelets, earrings, and hair clips. <laughs> Man, boy, it's on in the United States of America. Now, the inmate that crunk all this up is goes by the name of, is a transgender inmate that goes by the name of Shiloh Quinn. This is the first inmate in the United States to receive state-funded sex reassignment surgery. <laughs> so, <laughs> your tax dollars <laughs> pay for this cat to go out and switch his sexuality. Then he came back and hit him with some more demands. See, not only that, man, I want some, I want some earrings, I want some hair brushes, some hair clips, and all kind of stuff. Now, this dude is worth mentioning that he is serving a life sentence for murder, kidnapping, and robbery. So, this ain't no pretty little guy that's asking for these hair brushes and hair clips and all of these nice little things, these pretty little things. Now, also, the judge, the judge said that this Ruling includes pajamas, gowns, robes, and scarves. Yeah. <laughs> man, just when you think you heard it all, man, they come up with something else. Just when you think you heard it all. What I want to know, man, is... Is this a prison or is it a fashion boutique? That's what I need to know. After reading this story, man, I thought about it. Well, you know, if the transgender can have a list of demands, why can't the straight inmates have a list of demands? So I came up with a list of my own for all the homies doing time. And I'm going to go ahead on and start it off with the, the one that I think that all the homies can appreciate more than anything. Conjugal visits. I say let's start it off with conjugal visits. Every inmate get to have a conjugal visit on his birthday, on his girl's birthday, and Christmas, 4th of July, Christmas Eve, New Year's, New Year's Eve, President's Day, and uh, Memorial Day. And Veterans Day and Easter. So that's a good start right there, you know. And, and, and that you gotta spread it out though. You know, Labor Day need to be up in that too. Because we gotta spread it out so you can give people uh you know keep the morale up. Uh the second thing that I think that 
would be a great demand. In fact, you know what? I'm not thinking anymore. I am representing, I'm pleading my case to the court on behalf of inmates all over the United States of America. I demand the use of the internet. Inmates must learn how to use the internet before they get out. A lot of inmates been in there so long they don't know what to do when they get out of jail and they don't even know what an email is. They don't know how to send it. I say allow these inmates to pick up that skill of using the internet before they get out so that they don't seem so lost when they get out. They can know their way around the web. I also think that we should not be worried about them checking out pornography. Pornography is a natural thing. Keep them inspired. Give them cell phones also. Man, you get to make a phone call. Everybody use your phones. Turn the phones off at midnight. I don't think it should be a time limit on how long you can use your phone. It'd be a whole lot cheaper than making them phone calls from prison. So, we're trying to, you know, raise morale. Another thing I am demanding for inmates all over the United States is that they are allowed to come home four weekends out of the year. A lot of things happen. And I think that those four weekends should be used uh, according to how the inmate want to use this four weekends, just like vacations on the job. Take your four weekends when you want to take them. That way, if you have a situation where you make sure you want to catch that hot party or whatever, you got a concert, something you need to go to or whatever, go there and manage it, make sure you get back in time. Also, in the case of a death in the family, God forbid, at least you can be there for your loved one. Yeah, so I think that's a good idea. Uh, I also think that steak night is good. We are demanding that the inmates in the United States of America have steak night once a week. You know, just like, like right now, Inmates get excited about baked chicken. That's the big thing in prison, baked chicken. I think they have, depends on where you're at. They have them on different days, but baked chicken. No more looking forward to baked chicken like it's Thanksgiving or something, or like it's some type of prize cuisine. No more of that, man. We want steak night. Oh, it's going to be some trouble, I'm telling you. Next thing I demand, each inmate must have a flat screen television of his own. Now these televisions can be uh, about, I'm thinking, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 inches. And he can be mounted right next to his bed, just like at home. You know, you look up, bam, TV, everything cool. That way you get to watch the games. You ain't lost when you come home, man. You know, you give you some hope. Give you something to look forward to. Next thing. Anybody still talking about the crime they committed before they went in, and they're talking about doing the same thing when they get out, all the inmates should have free reign at beating the brakes off his ass. We must stop the stupidity. And also what this does is it tells the guards and the prison officials that we're in this together. We're working together to make the world a better place. And, you know, we're helping them out. We're working together. We understand what's going on. Uh, and then they also make us look bad. If they go out there and do something bad, they make us look bad. The scary people in America, 
want to come down on us even more and take our certain liberties that we already have away from us, they uh, they become hardened toward us. But if we check ourselves, then we'll be all right. And uh, we can get back to some actually uh, lowering that recidivism rate in U.S. prisons and we can get back down to correction instead of just housing people. All right. Okay, so the next thing I'm thinking that we're going to need, we're going to need to put all of the suckers and busters and cowards and rats that make time for real dudes hard we need to put them all on one side. We need to isolate them. Put them all in one area by themselves and let them fend for themselves. Because all too often, these suckers and busters and cowards and rats, they don't respect the code. They have no respect. And they just make time for real dudes that much harder. Because you got to, you know, peel that ass like an orange, you know, or, or, or you know, an onion every now and then. I say onion because some of them you got to whip their asses multiple times. So this will just make it easier for real cats to just go on and do their time and get on back home. Now, the next thing I think would be great and what we demand from all y'all, everybody get to enjoy their vices for one day out of the week. Whatever your vice is, if you like to smoke weed, you want to uh, drink a little drink, you uh, you shoot up, whatever it is you do, it gets you high, it make you feel good, let you get that little escape, then you get to do that. If you want to, if your thing is playing dominoes, you get to play dominoes. Whatever it is, one day you get to do your thing. And that's, that's about it. That's all I can think of right now, you know, for right now. And oh, definitely raise the minimum wage at the prisons so that guys, when they get out, they can have something. Uh, and they ain't got to get out begging. And they ain't got to get out thinking like, man, you know, I'm running out of bus fare. You know, I, got, I better make this move and trying to make a quick lick and all that stuff. See, a lot of times these guys ain't got no bread. And so they try to make a quick lick. And, you know, they run out of money. When you first get out, everybody happy to see you come home. But then, you know, after a couple of weeks of that shit, man, you know, everybody like, all right, man, that's it, man. You better, you know, figure it out. So, man, you know, give these guys a chance to, to earn some money, some real money while they down there building all of these products um, like purses and couches and clothes, all these clothes that we wear every day. You'd be surprised about how much, how many products that you've used that are made in prisons. But that's mine, man. And anything else y'all can think of, y'all go ahead and put it in the comment section. If you like the videos that I'm doing, if you find value in them, hey man, join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.